I have been selling this book, Zanaz Lee and Wan Chun Hong's Guide to Indie Filmmaking, which is published by MPH. For a while now, it's a really good book. If you want to be a filmmaker, whether it's for YouTube, social media, TV, film, cinema, whatever, this is the book to get. I'm going to make it more accessible and more affordable to all of you because I believe that everybody needs to become a filmmaker. The more filmmakers we have in the world, I think this world will be a better place to live in. Now it's available as an electronic book download on my website, I'm gonna link it here. It's really cheap, it's really affordable, it's only five ringgit if you want to get the ebook version, okay? Five ringgit! It doesn't really cost much, right? It's just a little bit of something for me. I mean, it did take a lot of work to write. Each chapter of this book talks about one part of the filmmaking process. And for each chapter as well, I interview a local filmmaker. It's only five ringgit! It's only five ringgit! Hi, you're watching and listening to Fat Bay Film Club. I'm assuming I'm Zan Azli. And I'm Shelly As usual, every week we watch a local film and we review it. And this week we're watching a local film and we're reviewing it. It's a Sabah Hunter. Sabah, it's a Danum. 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 Like the Danum Valley, you know? Yes. Which I have been to. Hi. Hi. We watch Danum. Mm. Danum. Oh, I need to tie my hair nicely for the video. Okay, tell us what is Danum all about? Ah, <laughs> uh, what is Danum about? I know. I know. Uh, the Danum Valley lah. Ah, it's about the Danum Valley lah. So it's actually the Danum Valley. It's about these like four by four. It's one of the biggest forest reserves. What are in the they world. called? They're not expeditors. Explorers. Expeditors. Yeah, they like to go on adventures. Because they go on expeditions, la. right? So you know, all expeditors. All these four by four, four by four people who like to go yeah, for expeditions okay, yeah. in the forest. Like how I tried to do it the other day in uh, <laughs> in Ijo, and I got stuck. So I was I was doing a story right about floods and flies in a village in Ijo. Hmm. So I drove my my truck. And one of the local kampung people was bringing me in to see mm. all the places. They wanted to bring me to show where the water flow was broken so that then it like flooded the whole village. So you needed a four-wheel drive. I got, I got a four-wheel drive. <laughs> and then I got stuck. And then we had to call another guy who was a real four-wheel drive guy to come and tow my truck out. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so okay. So D Danum. I mean, Lomba Danum, we always hear about it. It's like pride of the nation. Pride of Sabah, right? So it's basically yeah. about these expert, these 4x4 four four people yeah. that want to go into Lomba Danum. Or actually, it's just this one guy that wants to go into Lomba Danum. Um, and then it turns out, oh, he's actually already inside Lomba Danum doing like illegal logging. The end. That's the film. No, he asked these people to go in to do what, actually? I don't know. So, okay. yeah. So, okay, so... <laughs> so, so what, what do we think about the film? What do we think film? about the film? We are very confused. Yeah. We don't really know what the fuck the yeah. point was. Look, um, there, there has been a trend of like Borneo films coming out <laughs> from Sabah and Sarawak, right? Uh, because of this big, I mean, discussion about uh, a debate or discourse saying that we need more representation. Yeah, isn't it? But I don't even know Which if I would call this a Sabahan film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so there's been a trend like that, right? And we've got mm. Sabahans making films and we've gone to watch this film. Some are good, some are bad. You know, like normal, lah, normal. Right, and I think it's kind of it's a it's a young thing, you know, uh, uh, young meaning like this. This is the period where suddenly all these Borneo filmmakers want to make mm. films, which is a great day. Mm. Do you think these people? I, we don't know if this film is made by. Is it made by Sabahans? I don't know if it's made by Sabahan, but it was very Samananjong coded. I felt. Yeah, but there, uh, it's these Samananjong people going into Sabah, and then like oh, suddenly there's like a local guy that sort of like saves them, uh, whatever. But anyway. The film was so confusing, like, I I get that the film is supposed to be about like, oh, this illegal logging, whatever, but first of all, the guy that you already cast, 
to be the villain from the beginning already damn muka barwa like you wanna like slap him or whatever so good lah so you already good know casting, that ha? no you already know from the beginning that he's the villain but it's supposed to be revealed like later that he's like a bad guy but that didn't really work from the get we knew he was the bad guy okay and then like he says oh he's gonna do this expedition into Dunham and then he hires this like uh, forest researcher girl and he's like oh you are supposed to also go in and like they want to like chart a path right for this expedition and she goes in so she goes in with like one of these um veteran whatever and uh, honestly I thought that this four guy could be her father um, but they fall in love in the end which was also like what Stop the it. hell uh, anyway and this girl this girl's character is like She's a forest researcher and then she needs to go shopping, you know, to buy her baju to go into Danom and she's wearing like hiking boots and cargo pants and whatever and like, Look like a, she's like, like she a, one of those clearly, mannequins. She's clearly made to be like some badass chick or like she's supposed to be she's very aggressive throughout the entire thing she's like very st- super aggressive so, so very like, stereotypical why are, you, why are you so aggressive like you can be a strong, independent woman without being such an asshole. No, la. but you have to be stereotypically strong. Yeah, I was just, I don't know lah. I was, it was no, just she, very... She looked, like, she looked like a showroom, like mannequin showroom. Ah, showroom like, mannequin, you know, all decked out to go into la, the forest. La. And then like, at one point, they're like setting up camp, right? And he's setting up the tent and she's like going off and she's, she's like, Oh, where are you going? And she's like, Oh, I can mandi. And I'm like... I don't know, it is like, isn't if it I like, was stuck in a forest, if Mandi would be the first thing I would be worried about lah, but oh, okay. I would Mandi. <laughs> no, but, but she but, was being chased by bad guys, is no, that really No, no, and, and also like halfway through, like, suddenly she don't know how to do things in the forest. Yeah, so... And then needed a guy to help out, like, yeah, the guy to protect like her. Yeah, and she's like a forest researcher, um, yeah. shouldn't she be used to field work? Like, how has she been researching this forest if she hasn't really been in the forest? So, I don't know, I was very confused, it was very confusing. She um, looks like a. She reminded me of how we are were when we first started going camping with all the Decathlon products <laughs> at the camping site. We look like a Decathlon. We showroom. still didn't buy wear hiking boots again, okay, yeah. please. Anyway. I don't know. I I, I I remember the first time I went to like some war zone. I wanted to buy hiking boots because I thought it would be the greatest and shoe you wore to wear. It once. I wore it once and it's just so uncomfortable. And you really don't need it. So, <laughs> poses lah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, but anyway, uh, yes. Look, okay, I don't understand the film. We don't, yeah. I don't we, know what we, the objective. We I don't know what the objective of the story. I don't know what the story was about. What was these people doing? What was the motivation it's about for illegal anything? Illegal logging. Yeah, but still, I don't get it. I, I don't understand anything in this film. <laughs> it is probably one of the worst films I've seen this year. It's so weird because it's um, it's such an obvious film, and yet you don't understand it. Huh. Like, it's so. It's the yeah the juxtaposition is great because. It's very obvious they're like, oh, they go into the 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 into Danum Valley, they try to chart a course and then suddenly they're like sabotaged by the bad guys who's hired also by the guy who hired them. And then uh it turns out that guy is illegally logging in Danum Valley. And then after that he gets um And then they fight and then they rescue each other wow. or whatever. And so I don't it's like I it's it's again so obvious but when we are watching it, right, you have no idea what's going on. So I was confused. And then, you know how, like, when I talk about films, I want to intellectualize things and try to say, oh, it's because of society and maybe... <laughs> you know, like, but I don't know what to say about this film. Yeah. The only thing I can say, do you, and I want to question is, do you think they just wanted to, like, ride on the trend of, like, Sabahan films coming out? I don't know. But, I don't know. I have no idea. Then, I have no idea. Even the worst true Sabahan movie that came out from Sabah that we've seen, it's so much better than this. And that's in, it's an insult to Sabah films, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. Honestly. But no, I, I just want to say that this film was bad. I didn't, it was bad film. I don't understand. Yeah. I was confused throughout the entire thing. Yeah. Basically. So, would you tell uh, people to watch this film? No need all. No need. No need. I don't think you can watch it anymore. So great. Yeah. I mean, it gives yeah, us some it gives us some YouTube time la, to put video on YouTube la. Mm. But other than that it served no, no purpose. No purpose. It was confusing. The acting was not great. Nothing was great. Yeah. It was all bad. You wanna contribute something by saying something <laughs> in the comments, you guys? I don't yeah. know. If you actually <laughs> saw this film, <laughs> let us know. Let us know. Okay, la, just like this video, don't like this video, <laughs> subscribe to our 
channel or follow us on all our <laughs> social media platforms uh, you know at Fatbidin or go to fatbidin.com to get everything you've been watching and listening to the Fatbidin Film Club I'm assuming I'm Zan Azli and I'm Shoaib Zawad